The purpose of this video is to show you how to take the head off of a Bridgeport mill. Now the reason I'm taking the head off is that I need to replace the shaft and worm gear that allow you to safely rotate the head. And that shaft is right here. The old one is broken and I have a new one. Take a look at the end of the video, the many still pictures that I have that show some of the other operations. I'm trying to keep this video short. In order to remove the head and do it single-handedly, I built this little fixture right here. It's just welded up. I think this is a piece of 7-8 stock. And I will lower the head down onto it and the entire weight of the head will rest upon this shoulder. And at that point I can remove the four bolts. One, two, three, four and pull the head right off of the machine. The motor has been re removed to reduce weight, make it not quite so top heavy. Okay, we're going to stop now and proceed to another. Now, once the bolts have been removed, you can move the head in and out just by moving the table. And then the entire head can be swung on the fixture for access to this little slot right here where the worm gear goes. I know I'm juggling the camera a little bit, but uh, the worm gear and shaft that allow you to tilt the head go into this hole and then the worm gear sets in this recess. Please don't tell me this hurts the bearings. If it does I don't want to know about it but I think it's probably only a fraction of the force when you take a uh, real deep. Okay. Now the shaft and the gear have been reinstalled and the small set screw installed which retains it. And you can see that it turns freely now and I oiled everything. And now we're going to start the process of reassembling it by swinging it around with one hand like that. And then I'm going to put the T-bolts right here into the slots. Lighting isn't real good right now. And then begin the arduous task of aligning it all and reassembling it. There's a bunch of still pictures at the end of this uh, because this is really way too long of a operation to uh, put into a five minute video. Hope this helps you if you ever have to uh, tackle a job like this. We took the motor off first and then moved the head out. I put a little bit more light on the subject. I'll take a few more pictures when I come.